If somebody was planning on starting a project, I would advise them to visualise the entire process from start to finish, as in think about all the little elements that are going to take you, that it's going to take you to get started. Think about all the accolades you're going to get, the rewards you'll get, the things that customers are going to say to you. Think of the customer reviews people are going to write. Think about what someone's going to say about your product when they're gossiping at a party. Think of all of these little things, like what is your mum going to say to you in five years' time about this project? And that's how I always start a project. Because that's what will spur you on. I'm like, OK, I'm going to start this thing, and then I'm going to be on stage talking, and everyone's going to think I'm great, and then I'm going to get paid loads of money, and then I'm going to buy three cars, and then someone's going to be at a party being like, have you seen Sharma's new business? It's sick. And then that's literally how I think about it. And then I'm like, OK, I need to start now. I have a lot of ideas for different projects all the time and I'm not very precious with my ideas. For me, I love just seeing them happen and I don't mind other people doing them. War is actually eight years old now. When I was 25 years old and I started it, there weren't any like young girls starting businesses in beauty. It was always like you had to get 500 grand loan or you had to have investors or you had to have this like epic business plan or you had to go to the bank. And it was so formalized to start a consumer facing business. I think a lot of young girls were shied away from it. My favorite thing to do is to start a blog. <laughs> I think I've got about 15 unfinished tumblers because the minute I get an idea, I'm like, OK, so I'm just going to build a site. And I think that's what's cool about today is there is no excuse to stop you starting. You can register a company in the UK anyway in around 15 minutes online for £15. You can buy a URL. You can, you know, if you don't have money for that type of stuff, you can just simply start a blog. And in some ways, your idea has been crystallised and given like a, you know, an entity. Just like you can't make mistakes in your life because everyone's documenting everything, you can't make mistakes on the internet. So I think when you do have an idea, it's really important to get all of the branding and channels really harmonious from day one. You know, we actually do it with humans, right, every day. We see people on dating apps, and then when we meet them in real life, they don't live up to the hype. I didn't want my business to be something that people are like, whoa, this feed is incredible, it's so colourful and cool and then they come into the salon and it didn't have the same level of like vibiness. The best way is just building a real life community. Like everyone has these communities online that they're really possessive and precious about but un unless you've built this community offline is it really human? If you invited like your followers to dinner no one showed up do you really own that community and I think that that the technology is the great entry point, but it always has to have a mix of human and machine element for it to do well, in my opinion. The one thing I'd tell a budding entrepreneur right now is that you have as much right to have a seat at the table, to be accepted, to be successful and to make it as anyone else. So do it. <laughs>